We previously have shown how animals can survive in the winter months. But what about the other extreme? What are the adaptations that an animal must have to survive in the desert? This is the Sonoran Desert. It may not look at first like a place full of life, but animals and plants have learned how to live here. It is monsoon season, conditions right for rain. This is Saguaro Lake. The saguaro cactus that surround the lake are good homes for many different types of birds. But right now, the birds are nowhere to be seen. The temperature at this time of year averages at about 99 degrees Fahrenheit. The reptiles by midday don't bask in the sun, but instead seek out shade. Ants have to take short trips out to find food, because if they stay in the same place for too long, they will die from the heat. But they and other insects still stay out long enough for predators to take advantage. These strange cone-shaped traps are made by antlion larvae. The walls of the traps are at such an angle that the fine grains of sand slip easily, causing whatever is at the top to fall towards the deadly center. This one has caught something. The prey has already died from the heat. The antlion is getting the last bit of nutrients from its dead prey. But the angle of the traps also means that small pebbles can get stuck. This one has to repair its caved-in trap. It starts by using its body to shovel out the large pebbles. Then it circles around and around. Leaving only the finest grains. It shovels the dirt a couple more times and it is ready for prey to come. Here in Arizona, there are many different types of amazing birds too. Like this woodhouse scrub jay. Nearby, there is a stunning view. This is the Grand Canyon.
It is 277 miles long. And has a depth of over a mile. Its red rock looks beautiful lit up by the setting sun. In the distance, some vultures begin to take off. And circle around the beautiful view.